Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Askins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Roblox Studio uh, video mag. Let's make a game. And we're, we are still studying um, Jailbreak, and I wanted to go real quick and just say the script for the taser yesterday, there was a lot of extra stuff that I did after the fact, but we're, go we're gonna move past that for now. We will come back and readdress some things that was going on with the taser. You might find better solutions yourself, but um, what we need to do tonight is we are going to take a look around and um, basically look at all of the things that you see inside here. And I'm going to take some uh, some references. So when AMP, let's get you started. Um, there you go, come on, play. So get some nice background music going. And then I also want when word, which is gonna be word, word pad. We're just going to take a couple of pictures, references, and stuff like that. We're not going to duplicate exactly, but I do want to have a nice basis for what we're looking at. So, uh, if we look, there, there's a table and there's some walls. This is the inside of the prison. Notice the uh, the patterns and everything that's here. So, let's just take a snippet tour. New. No. Going to take a quick peek like that. Nice. And oh wait, copy, paste it over there. Nice. Same thing over here. Uh, I kind of want to get a little... Oh! How did I get a bounty? Well, cool. Um, right here. Let's go ahead and take a snip right here. Kind of cool. Copy. We'll paste that over. Again, this is not going to be... Uh, this is not going to be replicating. We just want to take some screenshots and get an idea of what the building feels like. Notice the, uh, the neon up here. Like, I'm gonna circle that, copy, and then paste. And then let's take a quick peek at the inside of the cell here. Is that is that good? Yeah, that's a good one. So, oh, uh oh, I moved, I moved. Escape. Go back over there. And control in for new. Just take a quick snap like that. That should be good to get us started. Oh wait. No, I need to take a, a copy. No, I don't want to save. Copy. Okay. Uh, and one last thing. Let's actually go upstairs. These used to be stair stairs, and they turned it into a ramp for some reason. I think they kept having problems. Oh, this is this is a good screenshot right there. Okay. No, not the document. We need that one. Control N for new. Take a big screenshot of that one. Copy. And like I said, these are just for references. We're not going to be copying exactly, but who knows? They might actually turn out to look identical. Ooh, yeah, trash cans. Take take one of the trash cans. So, new snipping tool. New. Boom. There we go. Copy. And paste. Oh, oh, all of the meals disappeared. Oh, oh, it's because it was lunchtime for the prisoners. I got it. I gotcha. Um, phone. It's kind of cool. Some filing cabinets. We'll, we'll come back through. And let's just take a quick peek at all of these. So, snip. No. Just like that. Copy. And that should be good. Okay. So now we are back in Roblox Studio, and we uh, like this is this is uh this is a base plate. So what we need is we need some terrain because that's what uh, jailbreaks use. Jailbreaks uses. Let's hit that editor, and we're just going to hit generate. Um, that is some mighty generation. Uh, I don't know if I want that big we don't need it that big here let's pull that down some come on come on down there you go and we'll go to right about oh, right about there just over the plate and then yes we want it uh, we want it kind of deep because we want to be able to make some caves and stuff but we can always come back and add more later right it's it's not a set in stone kind of thing and uh, you know we we can always we can always add more later. Let's uh, let's go ahead and generate 
this for now. Looks kind of good. Looks good. Make sure that's uh, about in the middle. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Um, we want plains. We do want some water. Uh, do we want marshes? No marsh. We want hills. Do we want dunes? No dunes. Canyons? Maybe some canyons? Would some canyons be nice? Mm, not sure. No lava scape and mountains. Arctic, we can add in our own Arctic later. So, go ahead and generate. And here it comes. And what we could all always do is like off of this, we could generate water out to the left and to the right, you know, and just make uh, make ourselves some water. There we go. Nice little area. What what all do we have here? A little bit of canyons and awesomeness. We'll probably make some bridges over that stuff later. So uh, we can go ahead and delete the base plate now. Uh, nothing inside of it, I hope. Let's go look at the base plate real quick. Oh, uh, don't need the editor anymore. Oh, and always file save to Roblox. There we go. Because I have had issues before. Nothing is attached to the base plate, so we just go ahead and delete it. There we go. And let's take this prison wall. Uh, these two solid walls, you know what? We can go ahead and add those right in there, like that. We'll take this prison wall and we'll move it out of the way for the moment. Boink. And down. There we go. Now that's a building uh, I was working on. Kind of, a, kind of like a, a city building of some kind, but we're going to have to flatten the area out. <laughs> Maybe make some roads and stuff. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and take that spawn point. We'll move it right over there. And come here, Mr. Code Primate. Come here, Code Demi. Let's move you. Whoa, is that down? No, that's, there we go. We're gonna move you right there. Hold on, was that in the ground? <laughs> I think that might've been in the ground. No, nope. come back out, there you go. So what we're going to do is we're gonna use Code Dummy here as kind of our uh, scaling test because I'm a tall guy. Oh, that's right, hold on. So I went ahead and set my body type all the way back down to 0% because the body type is like how tall you are. So I'm just gonna put that down to zero. Uh, actually, is it at 50? Is 50 standard? I think 50 might be standard. Um, hold on, I'll find out. Okay, looks like uh, from this forum, I looked up what is the default scaling for the R15. It looks like it's uh, height 100, width 100, head 100, body type 0, proportions 0. So that should, that should be right. Set our body type back down to 0. Now if we jump back into the game, uh, I should be able to just hit F5. It will res me into the world as my handy dandy blues clues avatar. Just like that. And from this, I'm going to go ahead and grab code primate. And control copy. I'm gonna hit stop. And paste into the world. So that's the standard size of Mr. Code Primate. Of most avatars, because most avatars are default. Uh, very rarely do people change it whenever they jump into the games and stuff. Now, the customization is great and stuff, but I mean, on average, you're not gonna see body proportions change too much. So. Um, well, let's just, uh, let's open this up and we'll get started with our first models. Now, um, the prison, inside prison walls looked fairly simple to replicate. So, um, let's go and create some prison walls. So here's the first screenshot that I got. Okay. And each time that we make a model like this, um, we need to make sure that we're actually creating it into models on the server storage. So I'm going to create a server storage and just call it uh, folder models, models. So let's get started. We are going to create a part. Oh, where'd the part go? Why is the part way up in the air? Seriously? All right. Come on down. Come on down. There you go. Whoop. Boop. 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 
Oh, we have we have caves. We have caves. Beautiful. Now, let's go ahead and slap this up against the wall, just like that. And it looks like it's going to be uh, a black part with some blue parts all over the place. Let's go to our model. Are we moving by one studs? We are not. So I'm going to have to set this back. Uh, oh. <laughs> model. And this model is going to be uh, display monitors one. Like that. Take this part, drop it in like that. Um, this is going to be the um, frame. We're just we're just going to call this frame. And we need to change the uh, materials to smooth plastic. And the color is going to be black, just like that. Um, let's go ahead and go into the properties over here on the right hand side. And the position, we want these to be some whole numbers. So take out all the points. Just like that. Okay. So now we should be moving by one stud. There we go. Much better. Wait, that means all these are off whenever I moved them. Dang it. That's fine. So we want to scale this down. Boink. Like that. And we're actually going to turn this into point 0.1. So we can get this nice and thin. Oh, that might too be, be too thin. Is that too thin? No, that's good. That's good. So, stretch this out a little bit. Uh, it was about the length of the wall. So, a little bit further like that. Pull this down like that. Nice big triangle. So, uh, this part itself is going to be the main part, the primary part, right here. So the display monitor, uh, this is the main frame. Let's go ahead and anchor this. Can collide is good. And we are going to add in parts to this frame. So if I add a part, where'd that go? Why is it up in the air again? Why is it always in the air? Jeez, okay. So, horrible, horrible. That's not what we wanted at all. Let's go back down to the display monitor. And the way I'm moving directly to these things is you select the thing and then you press the F on the thing. And uh, when you press the F uh, key, it will zoom in to that particular object. So let's go ahead and take this. We're just going to hit D to duplicate. Wow, that, it, that duplicated the whole thing. That wasn't what I wanted. Just the frame, Control D to duplicate. And we're gonna call this uh, blue monitor, like that. We want to change this color to like a, a light blue color. Light blue, light blue. Is that no, like a baby blue, like a cyan color. There we go. That's nice. Uh, and I'm going to change these back to one studs. So let's do the baby blue monitor right there. We're going to do scaling. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, that looks weird. That looks so weird. So let's move it to a point 0.1 system. We're going to move this out, point 0.1. Move this in, point 0.1. That way it doesn't show up on the back wall. And uh, if I remember right, I can hit the constrain join services, this, this thing right here. So if I hit that, I should be able to hold Alt and move the whole thing. No, Control Z. Um, is it Control? Maybe it's Control. No, control Z. Hold on. I want that. There we go. No, I don't want to move the whole thing. I just want to move you. Come here, you. Can we ah, move? No, it's moving the whole model. Control Z. Oh, it's because it's selecting the whole thing. Control Z. Okay, well, we can just uh, do this and. Oh, wait, is it welded now? Oh, is it welded? And do the constraints stop us from moving? Oh, it does. Okay, there we go. So this uh, this we can actually get a little bit thinner because that that does kind of combobulate things. Let's get that nice and thin. See how how 
we're moving it on the uh, X axis here. So move that back down to 0 0.1. Uh, and this is even, so. It looks, looks kind of even. So, let's move this over to about halfway. And this up about halfway, like that. Again, we don't want to replicate, but we want to get close. Just make it, make it look nice. So, it already has a weld on it, which is beautiful. So if I do a duplicate on it, I should be able to just go to this side. A little too wide, so. Uh, let's hit, let's hit this one. Go right there, right there. That good? That's kind of good. Is it, is it attached? Hold on, click off of that. Is it attached? It is attached. I can't tell depth from the picture that we took, but looks kind of good. Oh, 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 control Z. We want that point system on. There we go. Whoa. Hold on, did I not have the point system on the other one? Uh oh. Control Z, control Z, control Z. There we go. Point system is back on. There, that's good. And blink, blink. Nice. Looking very nice, very nice indeed. So uh, we will move this one down to here. Do, 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 do. Actually, should we have just scaled this on the X, Y axis kind of thing? Hmm, I wonder. No, that's not what they did over there, so. That's fine. Now that worked. I hold Alt and it, it moved it. So why wasn't it doing that with the other one? Okay, now you're doing it. Wow. <sighs> Can we move over like that? That looks, looks pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and scale this down. Just one, two, and then this one, one, two, like that. So they're all even. Now let's go ahead and duplicate this one. And we are going to move it to the right, like this. If we hold Alt. Wow, it didn't do it again. There we go. Control, duplicate. So there's a four monitor system. Like that, like that. Looks nice, looks very nice, nice and even. Uh, we could also, that could also be a window if you wanted to, uh, but I'm not going to make it a window. I am going to take this right here and I'm going to uh, scale it up just slightly. Then we're gonna go about half like that. Well, that doesn't make sense. Why, why does it do that? Oh, you know what? We're not we're not duplicating. We are doing our own thing. So let's pull down just a little bit. Nope, too far. Nope, too far again. Just one. There we go. And give it a little bit more space. A little bit more space. That's too much space. And we can do the same thing over here, like that, good. Now, if we squish the side like that, hit Control D to duplicate, and we can just move this down like that. Ah, oh, the lines are just too much. So, duplicate, and move this right over here like that. Scale this down. And over, and over, down, down one more, not like that. So we can start to see this coming together. 
as it starts looking more and more similar to the actual jailbreak stuff. Now for that one up there, we're, we're going to leave that one alone for just a second. Let's get these nice and even. Is that slightly off? Oh, that's going to bug me. That's going to bug me. Oh, gosh. Okay. I don't normally do this, but let's go ahead and zoom in really close. I'm going to turn off the move, and we're just going to eyeball it right there. Actually, let's not eyeball that one. Let's eyeball this one. Come here. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay, turn off the move, or turn the move back on. Ooh, that looks good. That looks, that's tight. That's good. <clears throat> so, grab this. Moves are on. Just like that, and down like that. Ooh, it did it again. Okay. So, turn the move back off. Grab this one right here. Oh no. Oh, it's the outline. Gotcha. There we go. Nice. Close enough that people will not suspect <coughs> or won't question. They'll be like, oh yeah, it looks like it. And it's close enough for our book, I think. Let's go ahead and grab this one and. Um, I want, what do I want? Let's go out this direction. I'm going to hold control. Or I'm going to hold alt control shift. I think that's how to do it. Maybe. Might not be. Who knows? <laughs> I'm just, uh, guesstimating at the moment. Wow. Okay, let's get in there nice and tight. And let's go right here. Right here. And pull this one down like that. So, we're going to make this one as close as possible. So, it needs to come this way just a little bit. And you can click off of it so you can get rid of the border. Kind of see what's going on back behind there. Pull this down, just like that. Good. Oh, no. Up. Good. Much better. So, now we should be able to grab that one. Control D to duplicate. And we're just going to move it right over here like that. Anybody feel like uh, they're painting with Bob Ross right now? I mean, that's... I kind of feel like Bob... Only we're not making pretty little trees, or happy little trees. We are making happy little prisons. <coughs> and let's see. We got the scale. Come over like that. Like that. A little bit more. Same thing on this one. A little bit more. There. That looks good. Now I'm going to hold shift on this, hit control D. And then we're going to move this up right into place just like that good come down just a tad nice so it's not the same thing and I'll show you this is what theirs looks like with the the different little monitors and stuff this is what ours looks like uh, theirs is high resolution I think which is okay but uh, one thing that we do need to do we need to check to see that that actually stays in place so, we'll jump into the game. And, yeah, everything looking good. Very cool. So, now we can move that down into our models. So, where did our model go? Display monitors one. And we'll just move that right down into models. Whenever we need it, we can just copy it out, paste it into the workspace. If we need uh, two or three of them, we can hit Control D, duplicate that out. 
That's the that's the beauty of models. What happened there? What was that? Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. There we go. Oh, Control Y on that one. We do want the. Uh... Oh, there we go. And now for our next model. So, what was our uh, next task? I, I kind of wanted to do this um, this console thingy right here. Oh, I was trying to move it around. <laughs> Silly. Um, but I think the prison wall might be better suited. Um, so that one's going to be pretty easy. It's uh, actually just a texture. So let's go into GIMP. And inside GIMP, we are going to create a 256 by 256. Um, we're going to go new. Uh, let's do 1024 by 1024. 1024 by 1024. Hit OK. And we need to add an alpha layer. So I'm going to right click and select add alpha channel. Control A. Oh, oh, come here. Use our selection tool. Control A, delete. Now we need, um, I don't want an exact white because that the exact white, it gets annoying. It's like, oh, it's just bright. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it kind of like a egg. Let's, uh, let's give it a, like a manila, like a manila envelope. Right there. So it's a, it's kind of an off-white, gray kind of color, and we're just going to paint that in. Boom. So that's going to be the the colors that we're going to be going with. Uh, the other color that we're going to want is going to be bright orange. Hit OK. And let's just uh, let's use the paintbrush. No, I, I want a nice hard line in here so if I hold if I click off here in the uh, the distance or am I actually recording hold on oh gosh did, did I unpause Whew. okay so um, let's click off here over in the gray area just like that and I'm gonna hold control shift and I should be able to make a nice straight line so it's gonna be a little line uh, and then I'm going to increase to 297 Click over here, control shift and click. So that'll give us the nice orange color, but I want these outside to kind of be surrounded by black. So let's click here, shift here, here, and we're going to do select um, outline, select border. We want it to be four. Then I should be able to take black black like that and we'll just paint those in beautiful just like that so control shift a there's our finished texture okay that's that's what I want the walls to become so we're gonna hit file save we're gonna turn this into uh, I need to go to pictures we're gonna call oh wait no 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 I need to go into documents 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 Documents, Roblox, Roblox. Uh, I don't have a folder for Lamag. So let's go ahead and create folder. Call it Lamag. And inside Lamag, we're gonna call this prison wall. Prison wall. After all, you're my prison wall. I'm sorry, that's Wonderwall. That's a completely different song. All right, so from here, I'm gonna go Control Shift E to extract, and uh, it will accept PNG. You could also do JPG, I think, and something else. Anyhow, we're going to do the same thing, export. And if I jump over here, I should be able to, um, let's go to the prison wall itself, and we're gonna look at the salt, oh, excuse me, solid wall. Um, why is this? Where's that part? Oh, it's over there. Okay. So we are going to add a texture. I think it's a texture. Texture. And we have to choose the wall that it goes on. Let's go back. Nope, front, back, left. 
Okay. And we're going to change this to uh, prison wall texture. Which, by the way, uh, that would be a really good idea for us to take a copy of that, and then we could copy paste it onto the pieces that we want. So, um, let's go ahead and grab, oh, if we scroll to texture right here, add image, choose file. We want to go into documents, Roblox. Oh, where's Roblox? There it is. Roblox and Lamag. Right there. Hit OK. And create. Ooh. Oh, it's repeating. We don't want repeating patterns. No repeating. Um, studs per tile offset. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we just do decal? Can we decal it? Hold on. Let's, uh, let's kill the texture. And decal. Decal. There we go. Decal texture is going to be our prison wall. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. That's a... That is a pretty prison wall, but that's that's an outside wall. <clears throat> and if we look, um, I believe I got captured a picture of it. The outside walls, the prison walls are brick, or sorry, the cell walls are brick, and they've got uh, that weird decal line on it. And then there's the inside walls. And then the outside walls are brick with like an overlay. So we're going to need that same texture but with like an overlay so if we go to GIMP open this back up now because we added the uh, uh oh it's GIMP opening GIMP come on GIMP it's not opening my oh it's right open <laughs> silly so uh, let's grab here 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 we're just gonna hit delete we're going to do control shift E we're going to go this uh, prison wall, um, um, prison wall, uh, transparent lines with lines. There we go. Transparent with lines. Uh, and export. Good. So uh, there was another one where we're going to grab this one. Um, control shift L to lift that up. I'm just going to move it to the top right about there. Copy that. And we're going to take this. Oops. Oh, anchor it. And we're going to delete this. Paste. And we'll move this down to the bottom about the same. Oh, can I use control to go faster or shift? There we go. Hold shift and arrow keys to move up and down faster. So then that one, we should be able to paste there. Control Shift E. We're gonna call this prison transport with lines two. Oops, sorry, transport, no. Prison, uh, prison wall transparent export. So file, save. Let's go back over to here. So these will work for the, uh, the inside walls, right? But we need decals on all the sides. So let's go ahead and take a copy of this um, copy, copy, copy. Is it that one right there? Copy. And we're going to paste it into workspace. But for workspace, we need to delete the welds. No welds, please. And actually, I don't want to move it like that. I want to move it like this. That way it's not tilted in a different orientation. And decal, we're going to duplicate that decal. We should probably call this prison wall. Uh, prison wall internal. Or inside. Um, I, I don't know what to call it. Inside prison wall. There we go. Inside prison wall. So, we should be able to just do this on the right side. Right, just like that. And then we can duplicate both of these. Control D. And this will be the front. And this will be the back. There. So now, 
we have an entire internal wall, with the exception of the top and the bottom, which we can always take the, the part itself. We should be able to match that color uh, fairly close, like Manila. Does that look, look right? No, that color is way off. Okay, let's uh, go back over here. Pastel yellow. We need it a little bit darker yellow, but all right, let's go to more colors. And just like that. It's closer. Closer. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Nope, too much. We need to get back down into the grays. There we go. Let's hit okay on that. Whoa, what happened? Wait, what? It went back to pastel yellow. What? We just tried so hard to get that. All right, let's go back to more colors. That's good. We like that color. No, we don't like that color. What is, what is that color? It's a horrible color. There we go. Hit okay on that. Click off of it. What happened? All right, I think that's just studio having a hard time, but this will work for the wall that we want. So we can start, uh, we can start building off of this. Um, now I did notice that their floor tiling, it, it looked kind of cool. So let's, let's go ahead and make a floor tile as well. Uh, I'm going to hit control A and then we're just going to do select um, and we'll select the entire border like that. We'll, we'll make it five big. Oh, did it not select? Control A. Select border, please. Select border, five. It's not selecting the border. Well, I don't know why. Okay, that's fine. We can always do this manually. Let's go right here. Control Z. Come on, come on. Okay. Why are we not moving it over that way? How far did we go? One smidge. I like that. How big is it? It's uh, 1024 by 1024. So if we look at the thing here, right here's 12 by 12. So 1024 by 1024, if we minus 12, that is 1012 by 1012. 1012 by 1012. So this corner needs to be at 1012 by 1012. 1012 and 12, 1012 by 1012, perfect. So the inside of this, we, we want it to be uh, a grayish color and we'll just paint that in. And then we can go to select invert, um, invert, and this is going to be black. So then I can actually just paint this in, Wee. like that. That is a tile that we want. So control shift E and let's call this prison floor tile one, just like that. Yep, I'm sure, save. So if we go back over here, I'm gonna take this wall and I'm going to duplicate it. Um, should I make this prison parts? Yeah, we're going to make a new model. And this is going to be called prison building, nope, all one word, building parts. And prison wall, we can actually stick in there. Um, solid wall, this is going to be inside prison wall. Take this, I'm going to duplicate it. 
then we're going to move it out like this. Oh, and we can also destroy those uh, those welds. It didn't have a weld, didn't it? All right, cool. And we are just going to scale this out like this, scale it down like that. Oops, Control Z. Got that again. Hold Alt, by the way. I don't know if I said that earlier. This is going to be called prison, prison floor tile, just like that. We can delete all these and add texture this time. Are these all even? Where's the orientation or the size? Size is 13 by 13. We're gonna make this 15 by 15. 15 by one by 15. There we go. And then for our texture, it's gonna be on top. We're gonna to call this prison tile one. And the texture right here, add image, choose file. Hit create. Cross your fingers, and nice, very nice. So that's what our uh, our prison tiles will look like. We could just move that in like that. Now we're starting to see everything starting to come together. Nice. I could I could make a little hallway here. Control D, duplicate that out. Look at that. And if we need uh. We need more. Now, uh, if I scale this, it should texturize. Yeah. So then I could do Control D, and we could uh, rotate. Actually, I don't want to rotate. I'm going to continue with that scaling. Scale it this way, and up this way, like that. Now it did. Uh, it did change, didn't it? Ooh, ooh, how did that change? If we scale it this way a little bit, just like that, look at that. We can make it look seamless, well, sorta. Nice. So then this, would actually scale up to here. We would do a duplicate, control D. And we could scale this down and scale it out. Oops, control Z. And scale it out this way. Now that does look a bit odd, doesn't it? For the, the decal. So if we click the, on this side, then we should be able to do, is there a repeat? There is no repeat. Hmm. Okay. How did they handle the inside turns? Oh, they didn't. So if we look, the uh, the texture is kind of blurred as well. So that could be a texturing thing. That could be a, a Roblox thing. We don't know. Anyhow. What we could do just saying is so we could scale this just slightly let's hit the let's hit this one we're gonna hit scale oh I'm still messing with that aren't I no oh, we're gonna hit this one come on scale that end just slightly same thing with this one scale it in just slightly And we are on the point one move. Just come right to the edge, but not far enough that we poke out the end. There. Nice. Lovely. Now, this isn't going to be, well, I mean, this could. This could absolutely be part of the build, but oh, when you get far enough away, the clip still happens, but Running, running through the hallways, you're not, not going to notice it too much. So, same thing with this. You can scale this out. Joink. Logged out. 
And then uh, if we duplicate that, come out just a little bit, stop right there. Uh, if we turn on collisions and constraints, there we go. Uh oh, we didn't go far enough. Okay, let's move this out just a little bit. Come here, come here. What? What? Constraints. Turn off constraints. Grab this. Scale it out. Just slightly. Ooh. <coughs> Make a wish. Okay. Uh, how far along are we on the video? Oh my gosh, we've been doing this for 45 minutes. And what do we have, uh, have to show for it? We've got uh, a wall, uh, a floor, and some prison-y things. But you got to see some texturing. So I'm okay with it. There we go. Beautiful. That's, that is amazing. I love that. So, uh, excuse me. Uh, I think in order to make doors and stuff, they... They may have, I think they may have cut holes. So let's make a door. So um, we are we are done with these for the moment. And let's see, how tall am I? Boink, boink. Oh, come on, there we go. Just like that. And we're going to add Door. One. Oh. Part. Uh, no. Model. We're going to add a model. We're going to call it door one. And we are going to add a part. 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 There we go. Where did that part end up? Why is the part in the sky again? Alright. We want to change the material. We're going to change this to a metal door. And uh, the color is going to be like a slate grayish color. There we go. Move this down. Now, uh, from what I can tell, they went very simple. So it's, it's simplicity. So let's do the same. Let's go ahead and turn on our scale. And we are going to go to our position and take out all the points. Just like that, and move this down. Oop. There's there's my avatar. There we go. So an average door should be at like double double the size of me. Is that right? We want we want to be able to get through it if we are a tall avatar. So there's there's some modeling right there. Um, to... Actually, that is that is dark. Let's, let's lighten that up just a little bit. Maybe a light gray. Yeah, light gray, light gray. Let's go a little bit more. A little bit light grayer. And we are going to call this the uh, main door. And then what we want to do is we want to control D. Uh-oh, control Z. Z, Z, Z. Undo the collisions and the join surfaces. Actually, we do want join surfaces. So control D. And what, what would I just do? No, nope. there we go. Main door. Control D. Thank you. So now I should be able to move this slightly over like that. Actually, let's uh, let's do this. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna pull this out. Just one here and one there. I'm gonna turn this negative. Okay. Now, before I do anything, I want to control. No, before I before I do that, I want to control D again. So we're going to control D to duplicate the main door. This one, I'm going to turn negative, and I'm going to hold control and click on the main door at the same time. Uh-oh, hold on. That one needs to come back out. One. Wow, that's not what I wanted. There. 
Now it can go negative. Perfect. And no. Come back out one more. Now we go negative. All right, so select the main door, hold control, hit the negative part, and we're going to union. Boom. So, this part right here is, uh, let's see, this is the main door. Main door. And this one is the glass. So let's change its material to glass. Not grass. Glass. I said I said glass. Did I say glass? And its transparency is going to be a dot seven five. Nope. Dot six. That looks good. Uh, but that's that is not how a window works. That is definitely not how windows work. So let's go slightly in. And we can't go any further, no. All right, so I'm going to uncheck the move and this is going to go in one, 0 0.1 divided by five is 0 0.05. We're going to move it one in, just like that. Then I can go back to the 0.1 system. We should have the same equal sides, good. And while we're at it, we are going to weld those two together. So click on the main door, click weld, create just a single weld and click on that one. Good. That way they stick together. This way we can also, um, we can put a frame around this, which is what we should do next. In fact, I probably should have done that beforehand. That's okay. We're going to duplicate this glass right here. And we're going to hit that scale. We're going to come out one. We're going to come out one. And this should be slightly bigger than the whole thing. Perfect. So from here, we can go off to this side. That should, that's going to be welded. I don't know that I want that welded. Do we want that welded? It'll be fine. It's fine. Let's take this down to here. And we're going to change this material into that smooth plastic again. And we're going to make it black. Should it be black? No, let's do, let's do a dark gray. But it's still transparent. Dang it. Still transparency. Thank you for the subscribe, by the way. Whoever that was, you're awesome. You are awesome. Control D, we're going to duplicate. And if we turn on the collisions and we turn off the move, this should join like that. Turn the move back on. Control D. Oh, collisions were on, but that's fine. That's actually something that we wanted. So we'll go across to here and come down to here. We're gonna go up, up, up. Does that look about right? Yeah, it's close. It's really close, but I think it looks good. Looks good. So let's also do, do this, Control D. And we're going to move this piece over like that and down like that and up like that. And this is going to be the, uh, the push Thingy. You know that, that panel that you have on doors? So there should be a, a diamond plate. And the surface color we want to be like a grayish. Can we do can we do white? Yeah, that kind of works. Yeah, it looks a little rough. I'm not sure I would want to slam my hand under that. What does cobblestone look like? Oh, that's horrible. Horrible idea. What about sand? Nope, don't like it. Metal? Metal? Does it stand out? Does it say, hit me? No, maybe not. Um, let's go back to that main door. Can we change the material now? I don't think so. Oh, we can. Oh, beautiful. Okay. What, is, what does that look like if we do smooth plastic? Uh, it's it's non-defined. Non yeah. 
You know what? It's good. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. So we have a weld right here, and I think the glass has a weld. All of these have a weld. Wait, what are these? These are not glass. Oh, goodness, you silly, silly people. All right, so we're just going to call this uh, door frame. Or door frame. The door, door frame. Same thing here, same thing here. And this one is called the slam plate. I th is it a slam plate? A push plate? Something like that. But that will be our door. And we can always mechanicize, me mechan mechanical, mechanical, script this later. So if we walked up and pressed E on it, it would open if we had a key card and stuff like that. Same thing with some double doors. But this is door one. We have a door. Yay. So we can just put that off to the side for now. And I moved the wrong thing. Okay, move the wrong thing again. Can we hit that model, please? There we go. Now if I hold it. Nope, it knows the whole thing. All right, we're gonna have to do this the hard way with these. Boop. And indigo. Indigo. Now this is what I was saying earlier. I think what they did was they uh, put stuff in like this and then they made a part and combined these two pieces. I think. Don't quote me. How much time do we have? Can can I throw an actual door in here? Ooh, we got like four minutes. Ugh. There was so much more that I wanted to cover. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do it. All right, let's grab this, and I want to add a part. But we need to go find it now. Fine, there it is. Give me this. I'm gonna pull that down like that. Oh, we went way too far. Come back up. There we go. So, uh, shift down. We want to be right about there. Come across. We can turn off the move, by the way. Go right there. Go right there. Oh, we gotta turn off the joins. Did that just get a weld? It did. Delete that weld. We, we don't want the weld, please. Prism floor tile and inside prism wall, okay. So let's go ahead and scale this up right to there. And then we can scale this up to the size of the roof. And scale this out like that. So this wall this inside wall, if we union that, oops, control Z. If we grab this part, we do negative, grab this part, and union. Oh no, we lost our texture. No. Control Z, control Z. Copy these, grab these, and union, paste into. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. So, if you didn't see what I just, just did right there, um, I had to copy and paste the decals into uh, where they were. And this means that we should be able to take this door and move it slightly inside, like that. Oops, uh-oh, Control-Z. Gives us a little bit... Oh no, I can't do that because we didn't. Okay, control Z. We'll leave it on the outside. <laughs> um, if I wanted it to set into the wall, I should have made the uh, the part. Actually, you know what? I'll show you how to do it. Control Z, control Z, control Z. Where's that negative part? So um, let's turn it non negative. We're going to scale this up. So it's actually on the edges of the door frame, okay? We want this side the same same thing. Where's that red? As close as we can get it. And then we want the top as well, and the bottom. 
The bottom's the bottom's gonna be a little tricky, but we can do it. That's fine. So that should be going through both sides. Now we can negative the part. Hold control and join. Oh. Sorry. We need to copy these. Copy. And now join. So when we union, right click, paste into. Now we should be able to grab that door and move it right in. And that way you get, oh, there's a little bit of a gap. I'm gonna take that out just by moving up slightly because we we calculated and sometimes there are there's gaps under doors. That's, that's fine, that works too. Um, but that's it, that's what we got. So, beautiful. One hour of building with code. <laughs> so, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, if you want to see more of these, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. And you know what? I don't really care if you like them or not because I really enjoy making them. And I, that's, that's me. So, love you guys. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro. Outro. Is it, is, is it sounding different? Outro. Yeah, it did sound different, didn't it? Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.